Yo, what is going on boys? It is Maze and I'm back with another YouTube video today. Today I'm here to show you guys the fastest way to do Barry Sanders. I haven't even like tried to do this only because I've never been a fan like of doing the Team Diamonds. Not like or like any of the sets that they have that year. I don't think they're a bad idea. I know there's definitely like you can make coins off of doing them and you get a Barry Sanders. I mean it's kind of you know hard to pass up. But for me, I feel I kind of just like stacking up my coins and like I hate kind of like getting rid of my coins even though you can technically make coins from it. I don't know. I work weird, but that doesn't really matter. There's no like specific, specific way to get every single card like pretty cheap. But there are kind of ways to work around it to where you can actually make them like you can kind of get these players pretty quick, pretty fast. They're not that hard to get. Mostly the gold and such. The elites are a little harder to get, but I know that there's ways that you can kind of go around it to pretty much do all these super cheap and make a ton of profit off of it but anyways guys make sure to drop a sub down below if you haven't already i really do appreciate it hopefully this video helps you out we're going to be coming out with a ton of Madden 21 content in the future so make sure to sub down below i really do appreciate it also drop a like down below that really helps out my channel a lot and finally make sure to follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash mazegc we usually chill out over there we're going to be streaming tonight make sure to come through we stream almost every single night so make sure to check me out there i really do appreciate it but anyways i'm kind of going to go through the sets first and then i'm going to go through how to get these cards each in kind of individually so you need all of the tokens of all the players to finish this barry sanders if any of one doesn't really know already um pretty self-explanatory you have to finish all the team sets some of them are higher overall, some of them are lower overalls. Obviously, some players, you know, are cheaper or go for more. Like this Bills one I know won't be super hard because they don't have a ton of like super high overalls. But I do know that there are some teams that have golds that kind of do go for a little bit. You know, even as you go down the categories, like the Buccaneers have 89s. You know, the Chiefs have an 89. Pretty much any team, like the Cowboys have an 89. Teams that have higher overalls tend to have a higher overall team diamond just because of the fact that like you're not going to put higher overall cards into a set and not get a better card back from it if that makes sense so pretty much you're going to want to start in the sets i know some people have already uh maybe gone over this but go to the exchange sets the this is definitely going to be your bread and butter 100 if you want to get cards for these sets these these exchange sets are 100 percent going to be what you want to go for the only thing about it is that most people don't really know uh how to get the cards to actually put into these sets and that's what i'm going to show you guys but the thing about it is that the reason these sets are so huge is that you only need to put three silvers in you can get a low 70 to 74 and you have very very high chances of pulling cards that go into these team builders the thing about it is that even if you pull a dupe card from one of the sets that you already put in you could just throw that back into this set get a higher overall card that'll probably go back into that set so that's kind of what the point of these exchange sets are and it kind of goes on and on if you have enough of the 75 79s and all the set you can throw it into the elite or you can just sell it and buy one of the elites you know what i mean so most of this method kind of does rely on luck with packs but the thing about it is that you're looking for so many certain cards that you are definitely at least going to finish like almost half of every single set just by doing the exchange sets it's it, there's no way you're not the only cards that i would recommend maybe trying to just snipe for straight up are the higher overall ones that go into each set so like say you have like an 83 84 you don't really want to do like you know you don't want to put a bunch of 80 to 82s into a set just to get an 83 because it's way uh cheaper to actually just sell the 80s and get the 83 82 you can just go to the auction block i'll show you guys right now you can go to whatever team they are playing for like whatever team you want to do or you know whatever card you're looking for just go to that team you can kind of just go to the 82 to 83 filter and essentially say you're looking for any pretty much any 82 or 83s that go into these sets instead of doing the actual exchange sets you can just go team by team on buy now price and you will eventually find these for snipes. 82s and 83s 100% sell like crazy sniping wise, I promise. I, I, I haven't gotten any other card more in this game yet while sniping than 82s, 83s. Like, so pretty much any cards that you're really looking for for these team diamonds that are higher overall, I would recommend using this filter right here. 82 to 83 is going team by team. You'll pretty much know what cards you're looking for. Um, even if there are some 84s, you can pretty much do the same thing. 84s, especially if you're going by buy now price. Buy now price will show you the cheapest one, so it won't really show you the 85s if you know if the team doesn't have that. But yeah, so outside of that actual filter, because I know that filter for high overalls will definitely work. And you can definitely go and snipe any of the other cards if you really want to. Sniping is always a number one option. 
but I feel you can save a lot of coins in in some cases there are a lot of a lot a lot interesting times where you could really you know you might lose coins you you could end up you know not being lucky at all but the thing about it is that with these kind of packs it is so low risk high reward that it's almost like it's almost a joke not to do it you know what I mean so I know I've mentioned this many many times people on my twitch also know that you know I'm pretty much I open gaps all the time get a player packs word to shady Tron make sure to follow him on twitch as well he is the gap king I'm telling you guys get a player packs are your number one way of trying to do these sets and that's why I mentioned the exchange set. So even after going through a binder, you know, you might have a ton of silvers. So like you can kind of just open these up 500 coins and then say what whatever we get from this. So say, okay, so we're gonna get a silver. We get a low overall silver. We just throw that into the exchange set. And then next thing you know, we could just keep throwing these into the exchange sets. And then you could end up just pulling golds that go into these sets. And I know some people might think that, you know, it would actually be more expensive but i have kind of like i've tried to record little opportunities not like actually record but like write them down and go through them little opportunities of me opening these packs and the odds are is the fact that even if you pull 62 overall silvers every single time it is almost the same price as buying the low overall golds every single time so you could literally just pull 62s which is a very very low possibility but if you're just sitting here pulling 62s and putting them to exchange sets it is almost the same amount of coins as just buying a 70 or 75 that go into the set if you keep doing it you know what i mean as many times as you pull these 62s, I promise you, you just keep putting them to the exchange set and you will just keep on going, keep on rolling. It's very easy. Say, you know, you're gonna end up getting a high overall silver, then instead of, you know, doing anything with that, you just take this and throw that into that set. I know it might seem kind of boring to actually try to do this. I know that, you know, opening these like nonstop might get a little boring. But the thing about it is that that's kind of how it is with some methods. If you're trying to do this kind of quicker, kind of kind of faster, just test your luck with some of the cards that you can get for kind of cheap, I would definitely try doing this. You can definitely get tons of golds out of these too. So you can check the actual probabilities. Even though it is very low probability, you can still pull a 71 plus in these. It is not, you know, it, it could still happen. Even after that, you can pull high overall silvers, which, you know, high overall silvers are still very good to pull in these because if you put them into exchange, then it's even cheaper to get those low overall golds. You know what I mean? It's really, it's kind of just like a little process you have to go through. Even outside of doing these exchange sets, you can literally just sell the cards that you're getting from these and you'll probably still make coins. So I'm kind of just testing my luck through here. There we go. We already got a higher overall silver. We can just throw that into the gold set. And you kind of just keep going from there. It is a very long process. I do understand that. It is a very long process. But um, so we're opening a low overall gold right now. So we got an 83. Um, I'm not even going to pronounce that name. And then there you go. Chief Dante Hall. So that's just one card right there. Say the next low gold you pull, you get the same exact thing. You could just go and throw this into the 75-79 overall exchange set. And there you go, you're on your way to get a higher overall card that probably go into the team diamond. So this does take a bit. And if you have a ton of coins, you can definitely go out and snipe these cards out. But I feel like this is a good method for people that are just kind of trying to start the team diamonds and they don't have a ton, ton, ton of coins to do it. You know, these kind of like these sets kind of just knock off cards right away pretty quickly. You know, it, I feel like these sets, you can't really do them all at once. You kind of have to like slowly just knock off cards. But I just feel like this might make it easier for some of you guys that are trying to do these sets. Because I know a lot of people are really trying to get that Barry Sanders. And then this last little thing I want to say to you guys, this might not even be a method. Obviously, you guys might already know. But if you guys don't, you know, make sure you're checking your binder to make sure you don't have any like silvers or anything that you could actually put into these sets. Like look at all these low overall golds. You might not even realize that you pulled these in your pre-order packs. You could go and put these into the exchange sets if they don't go into the actual team builder sets. But yeah, guys, pretty much outside of that, I think that is going to be all for today's video. I really hope that helped you guys. You know, I know some of you guys might have heard of that method already, but hopefully there are some people out there that didn't really know that gap packs could really help you out with the exchange sets. They very much, they're super cheap, low risk, high reward, like I said before, and you do have chances of pulling golds in those, so you really could make your profit back very quickly. Even if you don't want to do the team diamond sets in general, you could definitely open those packs for just coins. Not a super long video today. Hopefully this helped you guys out. I really do appreciate it. Like I said before, drop a sub down below for any more Madden tips and content in the future. I'm going to be coming out with a ton of videos, maybe more sniping videos, um, more content, maybe on some solo challenges, some Mutt Master. Also drop a like down below if you haven't already. Let's try and hit 10 likes one more time. You guys have been killing it. 
killing it killing it on my last few videos i really do appreciate it and also make sure to check me out on twitch twitch.tv slash mazegc we're gonna be streaming tonight and we're, we're probably gonna be streaming tomorrow we're gonna be streaming pretty much any day i don't work so you guys can check my schedule on my twitter really do appreciate it hope you guys have a good one and peace